There's 178,000 veterans that live in this area. The VA says that 44% of them are struggling. That's a lot of people that are hurting. I spent 28 years in uniform, and when I got out, I was in that dark place. There wasn't anything around for military families, and my family and I, we struggled. I had to either find something or create it. So we created it. Um, a friend of Bren Briggs, and he saved my life. To me, uh, Eden Project means a new life or a new lease on life. You know, I was one of those veterans that, that thought that I could handle it. You know, I fought through this and I fought through that, and then I can you know, fight through struggles as well. And until one day I couldn't anymore. I have a completely different outlook on life, a whole, it's, it's a whole new world to me now. And it all started with Bryn Briggs and the Eden Project. I am a veteran peer mentor, and I started out in the uh, peer to peer group which is really exciting and that's kind of where I found my tribe. I found that I was able to fit in and able to find people that could actually help me to assimilate. Um, they understood all my acronyms, they understood everything that I had already gone through, so it just made me feel welcome. And that, has, um, that was something that I hadn't um, seen in quite some time. Eden Project to me means family, a sense of closeness, a sense of accountability, and I really feel like they are a wealth of information and they're willing and able to share it freely, and I appreciate that. Bren and Eden Project kept me on my feet. In the last seven and a half years, we've served right around 1,200 other veterans. Probably the biggest success story is a, is a guy named David. He was in a super dark place, combat vet. He was dealing with all the trauma from, from his combat experience. He made some pretty bad decisions, but he got connected with the Eden Project. So we spent about a year working with, with Dave, maybe a year and a half. Now he's got a happy family. He's got a couple little, little kids and he, he's running his own business. So he's probably the biggest, but we have a lot of Davids that have come through the program that are, that are doing that. If you're hurt, you're tired, you're angry, you're ready to go. And when you're ready to go, a lot of information you don't get, a lot of information you miss. The thing I hear the most from other, other guys is they feel like they're alone. They isolate and they think that they're the only ones going through what they're going through. And they're not, there's a, there's a lot of folks going through it. So getting in one of these groups is the best thing they can do with other vets who can walk them through the process. If you feel like you're lost, if you feel like you're looking for answers and you can't, you can't get answers, call us, reach out to us. Somebody there will always answer the phone, will always return an email, a text, something. But there's somebody available for you, but somebody will call you back at least within 24 hours of you reaching out. We're gonna find it out together. We're gonna walk this path together. A lot of the guys are still volunteering with us. So they go through and they see what it did for them and now they wanna, they wanna do that for somebody else. 